Und damit herzlich willkommen zurück zu einer neuen Folge L.A. Noir. Immer noch, äh, ich glaube, das gefallene Idol heißt äh, diese, dieser Fall. Und wir sind, wie ihr seht, inzwischen am Silver Screen Prop Store angekommen. Wo wir, ähm, ja, ich, ich glaube, Bishop vermuten, ich weiß es nicht. Schauen. Hallo. Bär. Hübsch. Wer bist du? Phelps und Bukowski, LAPD. Wir sind die attempted murder von June Ballard und Jessica Hamilton. Christ! Ich bin Marlon Hopgood. Wie kann ich helfen? Du hast die Castings hier? Wie hast du das gehört? Ich habe ein bisschen eine Soundstage out back. Lead the way. Aha, aha. Nette Bilder. Ja, okay, so ein Propstore finde ich aber auch cool zu haben, muss ich ehrlich sagen. Aber ich glaube, das ist... Das ist nichts, was außerhalb von, von Hollywood oder so äh, erfolgversprechend ist. Keep him here, Stefan. I'm gonna take a look around. What's this got to do with me? Don't try my patience, knucklehead. <lacht> ich mag Stefan. Und Stefan. So, schauen wir da mal. mal. Kommt uns das nicht bekannt vor? schon anders aus. Schauen auf jeden Fall anders aus, aber gut. Schauen wir mal. Ähm Turn off the lights, Hopgood. Why would I want to do that? Humor him. <lacht> Ach, guck. One way mirrors. There's a room on the other side. Okay. <laughs> well, well. Find a way into that peep den, Phelps. I'll stay here and keep our pervert company. Mal diese diese Schrumpfköpfe. Das kann kein Zufall sein. Aha, das ist interessant und wichtig, ne? Das immer. Ach, guck. Mhm. Doping a 15-year-old kid and abusing her in a screen test. What is wrong with these people? Also ziemlich alles. Überall liegen diese blöden Schrumpfköpfe rum. Unglaublich. Dem würde ich mal gerne gerade die Kauleiste polieren. Optimistic Cole. Okay, also nix. Can't be that way, Phelps. You couldn't fit a rat through there. Ernsthaft hier auch. Ich kann mal kurz gucken. Also da ist das. Okay, das heißt, ich muss irgendwo da links sein. Oh, was haben wir denn hier? Nix Interessantes. Aufmerksamen Zuschauer übrigens. Es mag jetzt nicht im Gang sein, dass ich das aufgewechselt habe. Wie lag denn das? Ah, okay. Und zwar habe ich gewechselt zu. Das ist schon wieder nicht da. Jetzt ist da. Sunset Strip trägt man, um sich unter die Filmstars zu mischen. Wir sind eindeutig in Hollywood unterwegs, deswegen äh, habe ich mir. Das, ich habe keine Ahnung, was das ist, aber. Ach guck, das ist eine Bimmel, die nicht bimmelt. Eieiei, das sieht immer schlechter aus für dich. Warum habe ich mich jetzt hingesetzt? Nicht das, was ich wollte. Was haben wir denn da? 
jungle drums from Archbishop. Jungle drums, Eighth and Francisco. Attention, Mark Bishop. Yeah. So yeah. What the fuck? Das ist ein, das ist ein Kinderspielzeug Säbel. Oh, 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 oh. Das sieht immer schlimmer aus. Oder kann ich das weiter untersuchen? Moment. Ah ja. So what happened to the film of Hamilton screen test? Auch schön. Was haben wir hier? Okay, Schnaps. Ja. Aus Diablos. Tequila. Ja. Sei doch Schnappes. Okay, hier nix. Ja, gut, wissen wir Bescheid, oder? I wonder if they saw this, how many budding starlets would still get on the bus to come to Hollywood. Einfach nur widerlich. Ach doch. Das, das ist, das ist. Ah. Also sowas finde ich einfach nur widerwärtig. Hier. Naja gut, wir sind immerhin in Kalifornien, da kann man solche Dinge auch mal im Hinterhof haben. Hier bei uns wäre das ja eher schrecklich, äh, schlecht meine ich. Wird ja nicht so gut funktionieren. Und hier. So okay, this is where you sprang from. Ah, der Herr, wer ist der? Na hier der 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 Kopf. Zu erzählen. Oh. Ich würde sagen, das schauen wir uns jetzt in Ruhe an und ich mache sogar das Mikro dafür aus. Viel Spaß. Listen, I uh, have to call you back. I got some business here. Sit down, Courtney. This is Mickey. Mickey, this is Courtney Sheldon. What would you like to drink? Scotch. Straight up. I hear you're back at school learning to be a doctor, kid. Yes. That's right, Mr. Cohen. So you want to be a doctor and a dope peddler. Interesting combination, huh? Do we have a problem, Mr. Cohen? We might have. Yeah. Selling your dope to my boy Lenny looked like a good move, but Lenny has been supplying uh, wholesale, so to speak. The Bindle boys in this town aren't used to the juice without a little of the middleman taking his cut. Lenny promised that wouldn't happen, Mr. Cohen. And Lenny works for you. What can I say about Lenny? Let me think. Oh, yeah, he's a putz. And he's lazy. And he's greedy. But he's my wife's brother. <laughs> and how can you make a cake with those ingredients, huh? Fish. <laughs> uh. So how is that my problem, Mr. Cohen? Well, kid, the only way we're going to be able to make this work is to do some repackaging. We need to get the dope out of those dinky little cardboard boxes and... Surrettes. Yeah, Surrettes. Great. We can put it into a big vat so we can water it down a little bit. I won't bore you with the chemistry, but it doesn't work that way. You're likely to kill even more people. Okay, listen. We want to buy you out, kid. I'll offer you 50 grand. Hey. Hey. You don't like my offer? The Sheldon kid? I think I want him dead. Nicht so gut, nicht so gut. Nee, nee, nee. Ich 
glaube, dieser Sheriff macht das richtige aus. Ne, das falsche aus den richtigen Gründen. So geht der Spruch, ne? Tiers. Ne. Das ist wenigstens Mülltrennung. Auch nicht. Mann, diese Amerikaner immer hier. So, schauen wir mal. Da haben wir Gäule. Okay, ich glaube. Jetzt ist der Zeitpunkt gekommen, wo ich, wie auch immer er heißt, die Kauleiche probieren möchte. Ey, das sieht ein bisschen aus wie Harry G. Kennt ihr Harry G? Falls nicht, sucht mal nach dem. Das ist, äh, da wo ich herkomme, ein ganz großer. <lacht> Der sehr viel Wahres sagt. So, und los geht's. Verbindung zum Bishop. Do you ever do any work for Mark Bishop? Mainly do work for the studios. RKO, Republic. Warner Brothers. So yeah, when Bishop was doing work for a studio, yes. When did you last see him? Yeah, I'm doing work for his next picture. Still pre-production though. I haven't seen him around here in a while. Das stimmt doch, oder? Äh, stimmt doch nicht, meine ich. Wir haben diese eine Filmdose gesehen, oder? War das die jetzt die, die Lehrer gewesen sein, wenn ich jetzt nicht ganz vertue? Ja, ja, genau, 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 genau. Also haben wir eine Lüge. I know you're lying, Hopgood. Bishop was here and you know exactly what he was doing and what he left lying around afterwards. You come in here without a warrant and now you start throwing your weight around? Pushy, das wird dir nicht gefallen, was du da... So, zack. Ha. 15-year-old girl told me how she was drugged and molested at a casting house. I found the chloral hydrate in your drinks cabinet. You give me something or I will break your fucking jaw, Hopgood. Bishop was here with June Ballard and the girl. A, a lot of producers and directors use this place. I I'm not responsible for what goes on here. Yeah. McAfee's yeah. men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. Schwindelt. Irgendwas sagt mir, dass er schwindelt. Aber er, kein Anzeichen, ne? Hm. Ich versuch's mal mit eins. Drück mir die Daumen. You're delivering props okay. to jungle drums on 8th Street. Bishop is using that old rundown wreck of a set. That place is dangerous. But it might be a good spot to hide. Hmm. What's the deal with you and June Ballard? Look, buddy, I make props. I hardly ever meet the talent unless it's something tailor-made for them, like a sword or something. Oh, nein, jetzt weiß ich, warum äh, die alte, alter Schwede. Ich, ich glaube, der lügt und das Beweismittel hierfür ist wieder die leere Filmdose. You and Ballard are blackmailing Bishop. That's why he cracked. Mm -hmm. You got nothing on me. My hands are clean on this. Schauen wir mal. Schauen wir mal. Zack. Enough. I've been in your peep room, Hopgood. I've seen your smut pictures in the camera setup. You made a movie of Jessica. I found the canister. The deal is I get to sell the movies to burlesque houses and private collectors. These movie guys love seeing their cocks on screen. But part of the arrangement is I never film their faces. June had me film Bishop, and then she kept the movie for insurance. He went apeshit when he realized his face was front and center. Who has the film now? Who else? McAfee. Alles klar. So... Erpressung. Ballard had what she wanted. Where does the money come into it? What money? Ja, der Scheck. Also Entschuldigung, das weiß ich jetzt gerade I told you, I get my cut selling dirty movies. Ja, und deswegen erpresst er auch Leute. So, wo ist, wo ist, wo ist? Äh, Scheck, da ist er. Your ex was getting 20 large from Bishop. If I wanted to skim 20 from Bishop, we'd do it through the movie budget. June said she'd sell him the film once the movie had wrapped, but Guy wanted cash. He's in a cash-only business. You think I had a choice in this? That's all for now, Hopgood. We're taking you in. Phelps! Roy Earl 
bad vice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a vice case. You've been roughing up my informant? Hopgood is a vice informer? Yes, he is, Phelps, and a very important one. Look at that mug. Have you been upsetting these two officers, Marlin? So we just drop it? You do if you know what's good for you. You need to catch the movie producer before an angry oh, husband so does from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, detective. You do that, kid. We're all very impressed with you. Let it slide, Cole. Let's get out of here. So was is doch scheiße. Detectives. Johnny Goldberg. You work for Mickey C. That's right, detectives. You wouldn't happen to know the guys who roughed up Mrs. Bishop earlier today by any chance. No, no, not us. We don't do that kind of thing. It's the husband we'd like to talk to. This is a police matter. You don't want to be taken in for obstruction of justice, do you boys? You could try the obstruction rap, but uh, it won't stick. We can beat that. You've had your 10 cents worth, gentlemen. Bishop knows how the world works. Mrs. McAfee hits him up for a movie part. Happens every day. But Bishop takes it a step too far and tries to rub out Mrs. McAfee. Naturally, Guy is going to get upset. What made you think Bishop would be here? We figure he might be planning a little accident for Hopgood, too. Those two guys have got some unfinished business. You let us know if you find Bishop. Guy McAfee can be a very generous man. I'm only going to warn you once, gentlemen, to stay out of this. This is a police matter. We will be bringing Mark Bishop into custody. <laughs> At least he's polite. Kind of dumb, but polite. But I'm a lot less polite, you smug son of a bitch. So let me put it in ruder terms that even a pair of blockheads like you might understand. The only reason that you don't have bars on your windows already is because you're small fry. And we don't waste our time on small fry. You stay away from Bishop, <laughs> and you stay away from me. Is that clear enough for you, asshole? Now run along back to your boss so we can pat you on the head and tell you what good boys you are. <laughs> ich mag ihn. Ich mag den Kerl, der ist so cool. <laughs> I think they like your little pep talk, Bukowski. Oh shit, get us out of here. Gangs are very rap hanging. They really don't want anybody getting to Bishop before they do. I'll try for the tires. Keep your foot down. Schnauze voll. Ernsthaft, Digga. So. Schnauze voll. Ah, wir haben hier ein schönes Auto. Haben wir das schon überhaupt? Ha! Let's see him chase us now. On to the movie set, Phelps. Let's roll. Ah, hat oh, Christ. When they say working traffic is like watching paint dry. <lacht> you know how to piss people <lacht> off. So, ähm, ich möchte behaupten, wir machen in dieser Folge einfach ein bisschen früher Schluss. So, hier wollen wir hin und sind, ach ja, da müssen wir eigentlich nur noch geradeaus und hier vorne rechts. Ähm, Mikowski. Hey, genau. if they're prepared to gun down cops in broad daylight, McAfee really means business. Seems like we're the only ones who want Bishop alive. I have a good mind just to let him go work on the son of a bitch. I'm about done putting my life on the line to protect some child molester. That's our job, unfortunately. Verstehe ich, aber da will ich doch gar nicht hin, Ach egal, dann fahren wir halt hier runter. So, äh, in jedem Fall, ich mache jetzt hier Schluss und dann äh, haben wir das Finale in einer dritten Folge und ich habe wenigstens drei Folgen geschafft. Ich wünsche euch was, bis dahin, fährt euch Servus und habe die Ehre.